Hello YouTube from a not too distant future, Insane Monster here, we are back with Let's Dev for Warcraft 3 re -reforged. Now, as you can see in the preview of the map, which is the vanilla map, if you don't recognize it, we are going to start destroying Worldlass. This is the third mission, I know, I know. I'm going to release soon the first act of that campaign, which is very short, just three missions. Two missions and the playable interlude. But the playable interlude was complex, the missions were complex, and above all, I had the a human campaign to remaster into current stone campaign format. This is not going to be a problem anymore in the future, so I expect to proceed at much higher speed. So, what are we going to do today? My idea today is to adjust the layout of this map to work with my plans for this map, which I'm going to introduce you now. First of all, I don't want to change it too much. I don't want to, to feel it's a completely different map. I want to expand on it. Basically, one of my goals is to add the rune stones. The rune stones are the structures in Warcraft 2 which are used by the elves, the high elves. And these incredible structures would allow the elves to be stronger and protect their homeland. What I want to do is to show them here, on the outer gates of, of Quelt Lass. And the idea is that you are going to be able to destroy the runestones in order to weaken the elves. The elves are upgraded by the runestones. The runestones should give them uh, some kind of ability buff, okay, like you are there and you can and you have, for example, more HP regen, more mana regen. These two things are my ideas. And to make destroying them just an optional, an optional quest, I'm still undecided to have the effect of this quest continue later, I guess, no, just for this map, okay, to be too much to force you to destroy the runestones or have the eye health buffed throughout the campaign, so just for this map I think it's best. Of course, by having the runestones I need to place two I have uh, cities, towns, uh, eye bases basically, around them, and they should not be along the main path, otherwise it, it, it would not be optional. So I have to expand this map a little bit. And this might prove to be a challenge more so than you expect. In the current version of the game, expanding the map sides usually results in a crash. But they told me that's a workaround for that. And the workaround is to actually see the entire map from up above. So let's try and let's see here on Twitch, live and in the future, not so distant future, on YouTube, if that's the case. So let's put this to a test. I'm ge I guess I'm going to expand it left and right. Okay, so. Map bounds. Do I need to modify the map bounds? Now that I see it. I think they... Well, I don't know. Don't want to risk it, so let's modify the map bounds. So we start from 28 plus 32, it's 60, okay. Ta ta, ta ta, ta ta, ta ta. <sighs> yes, amazing. Amazing Worker 3 World Editor. We can't even resize maps anymore. <laughs> oh god, let me try again. There was... I read a solution that they said it should work. So... Post for size. Uh, 
Okay. All triggers and all regions. I removed all triggers and I removed all region. Let's try again. Let's try this again. Let's play some StarCraft. <laughs> Hi, Galmatar. Let's see. Let's see if the game cannot crash. I mean, would be awesome for it not to crash. It crashes. No way. No way. Okay. I guess we're not going to resize the map after all. Because I had a title Z. Told me that it should work, but it doesn't. <laughs> Zooming out, super bug, you can see the entire map and increasing width and length individually. Ah, individually! Okay. We can do it again. Come on, we are going to fight with you, editor. I fight with you for years. Hello, Parendal, and yeah, lol. Lol is a great thing. Lol to Blizzard and the editor. Lol to this software, which doesn't work. Let's see if I do this. So it was, the solution was... Sorry, um, zooming out super back and then increasing the width and length individually. No, still crashes. Let's try one last time and then we. Yeah, but it's not a problem of new map, okay? It's a problem of what are they doing? I mean, how, how, how can a bug like this ex exist? Okay, I cannot go more than that. There is no more zooming out than that. Yeah. Oh. No, okay. We can't resize the map. Hello, Legend. Good evening. Backcraft, yeah. We can't resize the map. How is impossible? Maybe I should not also change camera bounds. Let's see. No. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, and how, how did you? Please tell me how did you manage to do it, boss Saki bro. I need to have it back? <laughs> Usually I understand what's going on in this engine. I I usually understand what happens in this engine. But not anymore. So like this. All black. Then we only map bounce. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. <laughs> It's ridiculous! This is ridiculous! How in hell is this even possible? <laughs> it's 
something incredible. You, you see, it's like, it's the magic touch of the chef. It's incredible. It's incredible. Oh no. I'm sorry, Kaiser. You have to endure our night bot. I st uh, every, every time I promise myself to, uh, <laughs> to, to stop night bot, but then I forget. It's incredible. This is incredible. This is mind blowing. So, for everyone. Okay, how the fuck can I see the map again? Okay. Uh, <laughs> for everyone having issues or resizing the map, you have to zoom back. You have to make sure you don't see everything on the map. You should not be rendering the map. Then you should increase only map. And then you will resize. <laughs> it's incredible. The renderer is fucked as well. It's completely fucked. It's incredible. Okay, okay, okay. So we are back. I told you we are so back, and now we are back. We are back on this. <laughs> okay, so let's save. Let's save this, please. There will be Dark Andrade, yeah? Dark oh, it's cold, yeah? That guy is going to be there. So, now we can change the camera bounds. We have the map. <laughs> it's too laughable. It's too ridiculous. So, we can increase this. Okay. Okay, so, um, okay, okay, great. It's not completely fucked up, just a bit. <laughs> so, and that scourge, yes, let's disable all of these characters here. Let's disable them all for now. So I don't have to deal with 1000. Okay, Elven Defenders. Do you think Elven Defenders is a good name? I'm not really sure. Okay, let's say. Then I remove all this. And then we're going to expand the terrain. Let's, see to, let's try to keep it as intact as possible. So this is now the boundaries. We get this. I need you, so I will put you here. And I'm going to remove all of your. Okay. Bah. Okay. So you're telling me that in WoW it's flipped. Yeah, but I want to keep it like it was. So you, we start from down here, exactly. Mm. It makes sense, actually. What you say makes sense. Yeah, I don't miss it. This is the player, it's the only player active, so I, I keep it. So it should be like that on the contrary. I, I think we can make it on the contrary if we want. We could do it if we want. Nothing stops us from doing it the opposite way. Courts means something like. And when should be the, the gate entrance and wow, should be here. Should be like there, here. Something like this. Okay. It makes sense. Actually, if you want to follow how oh, is Quelthalas done? Quelthalas in in Wikipedia. Let's see what Quelthalas is like. If we get a map of Quelthalas. Is there a map of Quelthalas? No. Is this one? There's not a map. Oh, this is it. No. This one. This is Silver Moon. Oh, I see. There is also 
Let's say that Silver Moon is a bit big with respect to the to, to, to the entire world of us. What is San Marino? What is this thing? Okay, so. Uh, let me see it. So this is okay where we come from. So I can imagine that actually the gate should be on the right. We should go on top right should be the gate. So we're going to flip the map. Top right is the gate. And then we go on top top right. So we start here, we move like that here. Maybe something like this. And then here there is the part with the with the bridge or it should be here. Bandoniel. Well, it's Bandoniel. It's not easy to reproduce. And where is it here? It is here. In the center. It's in the center. I imagine that this could be the second part that ends with the second gate and it's here the second gate. Second gate is missing. So my head cannon will be to have this here you start. You go dun, 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 up here. This is the second mission and then here there is the final one. This would make sense. You start from the south in the second mission and it can be left south, left bottom doesn't matter and you go up to top right so here will be fine if you start here here okay well i guess we can have it working like that you move here you go here you go here and then down you finish here you go here then you play here go here and then there is silver moon and thank God they made Silver Moon a bit more like it is. And wow, already. So, okay. Perfect. So, it means that I have to keep the map layout the same, but inverting it. And since I can't invert it, I need to destroy it and make it anew. So, uh, one good thing about that is... Here, you come here and go up down here and here you'll do the complete opposite thing so you come here and go here so let's destroy everything come on get game game i command you to do what i want you to do Yeah, but I mean, I want to keep the, the layout of the reforged version of Silver Moon is going to be kept. I'm not really going to change it. Uh, why have I closed the... Uh... Okay, let's try to redesign also the bridge. So this is top, uh, what is all of this, okay. <laughs> Blizzard. I planned to make it like it is, but then people came and said, it's not like, wow, please make it coming from the south. It should be like, wow, please. Uh. <laughs> This game, this game. Hello, Flynn, and welcome. Thank you for the sub, Flynn. Good day. Luke and oh, yeah, Lejean, thank you. Okay, guys, so I need a while to read this, so I'm going to read it while I drink my water. Bandinorial was powered by three moon crystals, 
which will later become the Sangry Spheres of Keltas. That were scattered throughout different places in Keltalas, but together they form the key of the three moons. Much later, Keltas will take these moon crystals, and together with Astralor Day and other elf magicians, they will destroy the solar well. By the process, the moon crystal will melt and become the same spheres on Keltas' solars. Oh. At the end, you that. I thought that the spheres on Keltas were just cool spheres. Okay. So, let's see. This is not easy to do. Come on. Oh, yeah. I don't know how to remove the water. Yes, I know, but it's boring, so... Please, game, don't do weird things. As a prelude to build up the campaign, mm. or as an epilogue to something else, maybe. Don't really know how to depict the moon crystals be Mel, to be fair. Oh, wonderful eternal gold lands. Okay, so we can now plateau. We remove everything. Oh my gosh. <laughs> why, why, Flynn? No, Flynn, sorry. Why, Legend? It's your fault in doing this. Changing it upside down. Pa, pa, pa. I remember I did this too for the human campaign first mission. Like, okay, I like the layout, but I had to redo it from scratch. I managed in mission two to not redo it entirely, which was a huge, huge pro <laughs> for me. Okay, so now let's take all grass. We walk. On grass. My weekend was a bit tiring. I have to work a lot. This is a very complicated period of the year for me. I have a lot of work to do. Just like Tychondrius has better things to do, I have more work to do. Two rune stones only. Yeah. Be my guest. Kaiser, be my guest. Okay, so. We start from down here. I guess. So let's first start with the reverts. Let's see. So there should not be reverts coming down here. But I can probably like having one river. So let's make the river where they're supposed to be. Uh There need for sure to be something here. So, actually, our our path is like this. Okay. 
Okay, this is our path. So now, we're going to have one album base here. One here. So maybe I can do something like this. Let's see. Because I open here and then I need something out of my way probably here. Then another one here. And then there's the path. So something like this might actually work. Okay. Uh, I'm just done. I'm on mission. I will make the amount of missions and low frost. Okay, and the power is definitely will make a village there. I will make a um a, a small village, yes, with but with a base. And I want to have something that represents the usual, the usual, uh, uh, a building basically that you can turn into that on. And yeah, I know they're not just two, but I represent two only in this mission. I'm not going to represent more of them. So. I want one elf base with a room stone oh, no, to be here, the other one to be here, fast riders to be here, and new player starts from here. Okay, this is the, the, the general idea. So now. Okay. Okay. I guess this can work as the river that ends here. And I need some kind of view of this river from here. Because we have the initial part, let's say eater world. So I need, but maybe it's better to have some kind of small ponds. It's a bit too. So if you start from here, should be outside probably. Uh, the base here should be a bit more down. This is the path. You can have one base. Yeah, beside the path, and probably one other here, and we can change the path from being through here to go. Uh... Something like. Maybe. And then we create again this. Okay. Yeah, two will be enough for the side quest. More will be a bit too much. So let's try to design this, okay? So to design this, I will also need three walls. Not summer three walls. 
What are them? They exist. The Silver Moon Tree Wall. You are very excited about this part. Oh. Uh, Silver Moon Tree. Here we are. So Silver Moon Tree. This is. Have I imported anything? No. Okay, yeah, this reset my import. Let me import the undead OBJ. And then go to village to cemetery wall and change it with silver mod. Boom. And let's see. The texture are interesting. It has replaceable textures. Okay, yes. Perfect. Okay. Let me understand how big this is. This is very big. Okay. Let me think. We come from here. So we probably need a naval base here. But it should be open with the pads. So something like this. Then we need another elven base here. Open. Still open. They are both open. Then we need to have some kind of closed path here. Just have to break through. Then I guess we break through here, we move here. We need another closed place with the trees so maybe just maybe maybe just maybe this is fine you open this and you open path to them that attack you or maybe I can put this elven base here. Yes, I can put them here. I can put them here. Move this here. I know I'm brainstorming, okay? So I hope you're not too scared by this process. Okay. No, the goal is that one. I want to have someone defending the room stones. Okay, it doesn't make sense to not have to defend them. The only base that you need to destroy to proceed the mission is this one, the last, the last one. The only one I want you to be forced basically to destroy to progress the mission. So here we have some trees. Here we have some trees. 
here we have some trees. Okay. So now here we don't have this thing anymore. We don't need this. And we can actually probably move this a bit. So, if I move the dirt here and make it go back and silk around this, then I can reduce this with deep water. I think I can have deep water going down here and closing on here, leaving me space for things. Also probably need to reduce this a little bit cut it a little bit here so it doesn't go too nearby the runestone base okay now here we have the gate so we can put the gate on here close this here And we, we are going to have the album base here, so we're going to reduce this a little bit. Okay. So we now remove this, which is no longer needed, and Probably, just probably, I can make it go a bit further, like around the cliff, and have like trees blocking here again. Of course, here is going to be blocked by trees. And so we have two different places which we need to cut trees. Which makes sense, I guess. Here you have this part here. We, we have the dirt part here. Which is the one with the golems in the base game. So we're going to replicate it. This is the dirt part. Let me make it very, very dirt. Yes, troll among the villages. And I Sure, in this mission should I? Dragonok Riders. Dragonok are the flying units, right? If I remember correctly. Yes, not in this mission, I think. This mission is a bit too early for Dragonok Riders. You don't tear creep fins, so you can't fight against them. They are too strong. So now, I think now it works. So now let's add some clay. For sure, we need some cliff here. Then, for sure, we need a cliff here. We want probably some kind of cliff here too. Yeah, which makes quite sense. Then, probably at some year, I could probably at some year to make some waterfall and then make this a bit more interesting. With waterfalls and I 
can probably add some here too. Then we have something going on here. Because we need to close on the gate. Okay. to close on the gates. This is where the other one base is, so... <coughs> I'm sorry. It's even too big, probably. I need to adjust sizes. Okay, so... Here we have another kind of terrain, so we have this dirt cliff. Let me save, maybe. There are many wingling ghostlands which the park lost water and Zulman on the other side. There is on the big gate and Talassian Pass, just trying to understand how close it will be in your view to wow. Uh, my problem is that I don't really know wow. <laughs> so I know you guys can't understand it, but I I never played wow. And I will never play it. I just those like MMOs. Here I'm going to put maybe this should be grass. Yes. Some grass clip. Then we go down, go around, and we We can make a bit of pond here. Could be nice looking. We can make a little pond here too. Nice looking. And we need water here, yes. So. No, it was fine before. What what happened? Let me check. It don't afford water rate limit, so... Perfect, this is what I like. We can make stuff like that, yes. Yes! Shallow water too. Okay, yes. But this is going to be our waterfall. And these two here. Blood elves are your favorite. My man loves blood elves. Should I die in pain if I have awesome stuff already? Okay. Okay. Oh, amusing pool. Yeah. Bye bye, amusing pool. Great. Okay. So now, 
that we have done this. If I remember correctly, there was just... I will have two bridges. Maybe just one bridge. So this should... This could be much lower ground and much more big. Much bigger, sorry. More big. Can, can't really hear more big, right? So terrible to hear. Terrible on the ears. Then... Okay, so let's try, let me see, so this is another part, probably this is not so good this way, a good way will be to actually have it like that, and then having the forest we can pass through here, because yes, it's wonderful, but well, uh, should be many trees and well lands. Love new map day. <laughs> yes, and you can understand I'm going to work on this also not on stream, so it will improve very fast. You can expect incredibly fast improvements. So, for example, I want this to cut here. And I want this to have here... Yes, you can send a link to it. And if Nightbot prevents you from doing it, be my guest and send it on, on my way on this card. It will help. So it will always help. Okay. I appreciate that. I need water. Give me water. Um. Oh, and by the way. I was forgetting. Remember, you can support the project on Twitch by subscribing. It, uh, I appreciate that. If you like Let's Dev, you can encourage me to do more Let's Dev or keep doing Let's Dev on Twitch. Just drunk. Cheers to you, Flynn. And you can also support the project on Patreon. Remember, my bills don't pay for themselves. So if you want to help me, it's very appreciated. Uh, okay. Um. <laughs> You are, you all are, getting ready to do that. So let's see what I can do here. I think I can, without any problem, do this. This does not cost anything. It gives me... Um, what's this size? Nothing forbids me from doing it. And here I can increase this a little bit. Maybe here should I be able to see it? Maybe even a bit less. One. Six more. Okay. And here I should not be able to see. Then I here can do this. I can probably do this too. Uh, 
I can go this up. And then it's going to be here, okay. Everyone ate the elf. <laughs> I must say that I would love to do something cool, like this. Yes! I like this. So... Mm -hmm. Wanted to be able to pass here, somehow. So here should be able to pass. Here. We're going to add something like this. I guess I can increase one, two, three, four. Like this. Bye bye for green. Have a good night. <laughs> yeah, feedback, lobby, whatever you want. Frost. Or DM, yeah, whatever, but I like the server. In the server, people can react to what you do. By DM, you only have me. Which you might like or not like, depending on the instance. Okay, so I guess this can be cool like that, and of course it needs refining, okay, it's not perfect, it's not done yet, but it's just ideas where you can move. can reduce this so I need more base and create some kind of ponds here not that much trouble I defeated you in ages past and I will solve it again thank you Yeah, yeah, the full image. <laughs> the full image of Paul Glass. Yes, this could have been laid, laid down better, so uh, try better. So this should probably end here. And this should probably be like that. We can remove some of that and use this one to connect the two. And we 
Ich bin gut in der Part hier. Okay. Great. It's shaping. It's taking its shape. A oh, wonderful eternal glass. Thank you, Frost. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Oh, yeah, resurrection. And I want also to drink some water because I do need it. Uh, today I went to the swimming pool. I ate a lot. I work on the reports. I work on Python to, for a course. Uh, so much. Yes. Oh. Mm. I really like how this forest looks. Really, really liking it. Elfelvin, yeah. That was not the case in the original game. It was not something Elven, it was just the round on. The usual three walls. <laughs> Cursive tree. Oh! El Velvin was the banned word. I apologize. We're going to not speak of our Ponty guys anymore. Thank you, Na Nathor. I guess it's Nathor. I guess. Thank you for the sub. Always remember, it's not so easy. Thank you, Nathor. And it's not easy to work on stream. It's easier to work on my own. <laughs> it's fun to have you around, but sometimes you need to concentrate a lot, to focus a lot, and it's not so good to have people you are talking to while doing that. Nature will be eight. Well, nature is actually very important now with the elves, so it's perfectly on team. Really? There is game depth category now on Twitch? 
I didn't know, Flynn. Amazing, I love that. I don't know, maybe it's better Warcraft 3 than the game game death. Or do you think it's better for me? This is game dev after all. It's just done in an old game, but it's game dev. By all means and accounts. But can I have more than one category? I'm not really sure. Category is just one. As far as I know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can put category um, soft porn like <laughs> all the people going rampage on Twitch. <laughs> so <laughs> to get more followers. <laughs> like weird things with elves. You know, fuck me. Weird things with Ponty is people. Ah, wonderful little apple flowers. Attention. The, uh, the, the pony eats people who laid an ambush. You missed that we have a game dev category, you missed that I can't say uh, the word most important in these maps, stuff like that. All of your custom maps, you mean all of your made by you custom maps? Because that would suck a lot. Oh yes, I love that. I love to say this. Oh. You're very active today. No, I'm very sad. I never have my maps inside the uh, anything Warcraft 3 owns as a game. All my maps are in other places in my drive and I connect them with symbolic links if, uh, if needed. It's much more safe to have your stuff far away from... Oh, I saved by accident. Far away from what Worker 3 can control and change. You never know what they might do. You mean the Eula? You are mistaken. The Eula is normal, there is nothing weird about it. They just didn't know how to say it. But I can tell you, there is nothing to worry about in the Eula. It's just like StarCraft 2. It's cool. If you want to do 
good looking stuff, Reforge is the way to go. I didn't. I don't have much time. It has some bugs and it's very long. Three things that combined can create man much, many problems. But they have plenty of showcase so from people much better than me, so don't need me to showcase them. Also, I don't want to be too critical. Oh, I will borrow assets if I like, if I like them. For example, I, I don't like so much some of the Elven units, I like others, so I'm going to borrow some and not borrow others. Some stuff looks like it's reforged, some stuff doesn't, in my opinion. And I will borrow only what I like, because it's how it should be. They can do what they please, and I too can. It's amazing, it's freedom. Yeah. I mean, on a technical level, it's a bit eat and miss. On the gameplay side, for my taste. But I like StarCraft 2 more than Warcraft 3. So, I'm not a good people to judge long maps, macro maps, where you fight for a long time. It's not the style of gameplay I really like. I'm more for soccer too. I've always been. I always told everyone, Starcraft 2 is my game. I just wished it wasn't so fast in the unit movement. Just that. Yes, but I think this, this, look, this looks fine. I increased the size already, okay? This is so bigger than the usual. The problem with CSW maps is that I tend to find them boring and cluttered. While I think the presentation is amazing, and I have nothing to say about that except for the writing, but it's not the presentation, it's the writing, uh, I don't really like the gameplay. And I told that for years, that I find the gameplay boring after a while. I think the first four missions are actually the more polished missions. They are the missions which have a goal in mind. They might be a bit boring from the novel side, but you can clearly see work of Twinda. Later missions feel a bit too much. Too much for me, for my taste. But it's my taste, okay? I am not saying that I'm perfect, not that my tastes are perfect. There are some things that are objectively good or bad, but in this case it's more a matter of taste. If you like the... I dislike, for example, to have to destroy each building to trigger an objective. It's not the way to go. For example, Secret 1. I found it incredibly boring. While visually incredible as well. I think it's the best looking map I've ever seen. And probably I will ever saw. I will ever see, sorry, <laughs> for that. But I found it incredibly boring, boring to play through. At the end it was just, stop, please stop. Mission stop, I don't want to play you anymore. But was very, very good looking. I don't consider myself better terraining, actually, I think I'm pretty good. But that's on one other level. It doesn't feel Warcraft 3, but it's awesome. Awesome on uh, multiple levels.
composing too much on this area. Oh, and by the way, I'm also playing Baldur's Gate 3 right now. I don't have much time, so I'm not playing that much. But it's a good game. I still think Bioware has better dialogues, overall. But it's a very good game. I think that I enjoy a lot the combat. I always play Dungeons & Dragons and stuff like that, so it was... I was bound to enjoy the combat. <laughs> but at the same time, I think dialogues... Characters are not really developed enough. Sometimes you feel like a character comes and you already know everything about it and you should care about them. Why? And also everyone wants to jump on me. What? Why? Why every character want to assault me? Like I'm the most handsome guy in the world. I mean, my player character. Why? Why is this the case? Yeah, it's weird though. I mean, I'm also the Dark Urge. They should definitely resist my sex appeal. It's like a band of teenagers. That's what the feeling I get. Not really old characters, more teenagers characters. <laughs> yes, but you should... It, attractiveness is something you earn, I think, in a certain sense. Because you are not only attractive on the aesthetic side, you are also attractive mm, through your behavior. And to be assaulted by... <laughs> by my entire team. I mean, the Gityanki girl said things very weird, like, I want to eat you, basically. My my god. We knew each other from a couple days. You want to eat me already? Isn't a bit too soon? Can you please wait until Act 2 to eat me? But in the end, just like every other straight male in the world, I romance Shadow Heart. I can't force myself. I love pale. Pale skin, black hair. I love it. It's very similar to how my girl looks. Follow me on my social media. <laughs> if I were playing as a woman, I would probably find uh, Gale to be interesting as a romantic option. Because he is very interesting with his story with Mistra. But since I am a male, and I'm role-playing a straight male, then I guess I'm going for my own taste, which I can relate to since I am a straight male. So, I'm going for shadow art all the way. She's beautiful. 
And I guess they want you to romance her. I guess it's it's a bit like Liara in Mass Effect. They want you to romance her. Yeah, no, with Liara it wasn't subtle at all. It was like, hey there, there's a romance option here, you have to take her. She is your romance option, we love her. And I basically can't play Mass Effect without romancing Liara, but then I always find myself romancing Miranda for some reason. And then, once I did with Tali and once with Liara. In the third game. Oh, yeah, save it. <laughs> they all have a different type of damage. Like brain damage. It's, it's on topic. On Baldur's Gate 3, <laughs> the brain damage thing. Ah, wonderful. Eternal Bolton. Remember that they're playing Italian, so you have different voice actors. Thank you for joining us, Galmator. Seeing you in the next one, I hope. In Mass Effect, the dubbing is, the dubbing is amazing. Amazing. It's better than the original. In, in Baldur's Gate 3 there is no dubbing, so... <laughs> I play in English. Not that it's a problem. It would have been a problem if I was younger. What a polite chat I have today. Incredibly polite. Hello, bye bye. Thank you. I love you. Okay. You play my subject English. <laughs> Sometimes there's armor merchant, which is a bit weird in chat. It's not polite, but not unpolite, it's just weird. Captain Walder, what he wants to say. Oh, thank you, Galmato, love you. Thank you for the sub. Because I'm polite. <laughs> Point taken. Okay, from here. Be careful, the elves can lay an arm. Oh, yeah, but word ban now should be over. I mean, it's been like three hours. I want to have it. She'll be here in the middle of this encampment here.
Okay. Kill the elves. Destroy their buildings. This base is. This are is perfect for base. Need to not see this. This is so bad looking. Oh, why I choose this angle? Oh, wait, I have an idea. I am a genius. Genius at work. <laughs> No, this should be something. Stump. Here. Okay, so this is fine. You love this new being. <laughs> um, uh, I don't know. I don't really know. Now for this campaign, I want to reforge the last mission. I can't wait. To re-reforge the last mission. Because I think it's very bad. Okay, Kaido, you just read everything again, right? By the way, each of the three moon crystals so in Amdu to Pando Vinyantalas before that time bloody apparatus cut. Of the wishes of the various and bandar rustons that the undead scourge will not become for our eyes with the power of the barrier. And with the help of the lunar crystal turns off the power of the rune stone. Okay. okay, so there is another rune stone then. I guess, from what I'm reading. We need to conciliate the fact that we have something like this with also the the concept of gate because I have certain dialogue here to to follow. Okay, 
so. Can destroy this. Destroy the elves. Okay. In, they are all on YouTube, Spastek. Oh god, this seems like an insult. It's just his nickname. Not an insult, okay, uh, it's, it's in his name. So, yeah. They are all on YouTube. You can find them all there. The lore is fascinating when it contradicts itself. This is where the initial base will be. Okay. Bye bye, Bosseki bro. Have a good night. Not going to last much longer either. Burning sweet dreams. Thank you, my friend.
Mmm, it's time to get tired. Okay, so... Good night, Elijah. Thank you for joining me. Yeah, the stream is not going to last much longer because I'm very tired <laughs> too. replicated more or less the layout of the original map just upside down. Yeah, the bases are a bit all both on the right, so this is not the best thing in the world, but I guess we'll have to live with it. So there is one I have on village here. I need the other one. This area could be cool for the gold mine. No. Maybe not. Maybe another better area for a gold mine could be this year. Along the path.
Okay, I probably need to adjust this a lot. Then. Okay, I guess I'm happy for today. Mm. Okay, yes. So, you just saw the initial development and terrain layout of the third mission of the Undead Campaign, which is the first mission on the second dot of the Undead Campaign, set in Quelthlas. I hope you like it as much as I did, and yeah, remember to comment under this video, to like it please, and to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Remember that I have a Patreon, and any support on Patreon will keep the project going on. So I would really appreciate for you to support it if you have anything to spare. This project takes a lot of time, a lot of expertise. It's a long work. So with that said, thank you again people from YouTube from a not too distant future and I'll see you next time.